you all were drinking the whole time. I was actually not drinking, mm-hmm. which is was weird just being around you guys. And I was like being the mom, like driving you guys around. <laughs> Do you want to go to the Cheesecake Factory? So the reason why I'm not drinking is because I am having a baby. Yes. <laughs> I was like waiting for someone. Wait, like the production crew. Game that you're like, yes. The oh, one day uh-huh. you guys have like no one here. It's just like you two. Mm-hmm. So this is the kicker. Remember in the episode when we came back from New York, I was like, we went to a psychic and she told me either me or someone very close to me was about to become pregnant. That I went home right after and I took the pregnancy test and found out that I was pregnant. And it's so random too, because I remember you doing it because we were like going out, like we're having fun girls night and she comes home with like two pregnancy tests and I'm just like, huh? Like what? I remember, yeah, we were all just sitting in the bedroom, and she came out. I thought it was a prank. Yeah, yeah I thought it was, I was most joking. random. I was like, you're fucking with me. This is fake. You painted that on Random there. out so of the blue. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, why <laughs> would she get that? And they were like, they were like, oh, sweetie, don't cry. And I'm like, I'm happy right now. Yeah, I, were, we were crying. We are like, don't cry. And she was like, I'm, I'm like, not. I'm so happy right now. Um, And so even like not being able to drink and— um, you know, in this situation, I sort of realized you guys also were like, you're so young. Like, are you sure you want to do this? And I just feel like lately going out, partying, drinking, and like, it's all great and fun, but I wasn't finding it super fulfilling. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love you guys. I love hanging I mean, out with you. I never do it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we go out sometimes. Yeah. But I don't know. I just feel like this is the next step for me in my life. And I've had miscarriages in the past when I was pregnant, which is super common when I was married. I mean, we were trying for a baby and I had miscarriages. It's super common. About 20% of pregnancies end in miscarriage. And it has nothing to do with what you eat or how you take care of yourself. It is usually a chromosomal um, defect. So the baby is never meant to grow to full term. Um, So having that in the past and then now finding out that I was pregnant— I just feel like I'm ready now. I mean, I agree. I think, well, one, obviously you have us girls to help support. (laughs) And I have baby fever always. So it'll be amazing. And I definitely think that you obviously, financially, you're okay. You aren't much of a partier anyway. So it's Mm -hmm. not like a major lifestyle change other Mm -hmm. than like our random like trip every few months, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think it'll be good for you. You'll have something to cuddle and love and just give all your love to other than us. I know. I'm yeah. like, who's going to be the godmother? Oh, God. Fight. I'm like, I'll rock, paper, it. scissors, shoot. I'll be yeah. the godfather. Rock, paper, scissors. Right now. Whoever wins. No. Best out of three? <laughs> do it, do it. Whoever wins. Best out of three or? Best two out of three. Okay, ready? Three. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Ah! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! I'm scared. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Olivia is the godmother. I'm like, you're really going to trust her with the baby over me? So (laughs) today I have my official ultrasound. Obviously, it's very scary. You know, having miscarriages in the past, I know I could go to the ultrasound today and the heartbeat could not be there anymore. And then like we talked about this on the podcast. So if everything is well, I'm going to be announcing it on my Instagram tonight. And then we are also starting a subscription club. So the gender reveal party is going to be the launch of that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm just going to keep everyone updated because there's so many moms, young moms out there, pregnant women who are going through this. So I definitely want to share my journey so that people who can relate can feel close to it and, Mm -hmm. and know that they're not alone.